find me so weird. Thank you. Thank you. One of the main ways to get me up and moving is through food and he is at it again. Lovey doos! You have summoned me to the kitchen because of the smell. What are you making? Making nachos with pulled pork. Okay, it's looking so yummy. Let me show you. This is the pulled Actually. pork and Eddie is getting ready to make a second layer of what already <laughs> looks like. <laughs> Ready to be eaten. Oh my gosh, it's got all the good stuff. Jalapeno, cheese, tomatoes, some homemade beans that he mixed together. And I can only dream of learning how to make this. If I, you know, I, I feel like I can make this, but it's never going to be as good as the way he does it. It's so effortless and he doesn't think about what to put next. Whereas if I was going to do it, I would totally blank out and have to watch a YouTube video to guide me through. But, um, my gosh. I am drooling. What the heck? Yeah. So, this is one of those nights where we're going to be watching a documentary called Sour Grapes. It's about wine. And I was wanting to have some pika pika to go with the wine. And yeah, this is what Eddie comes up with. I am such a spoiled girl. Ladies, when you're, if you're watching this, always make sure to grab someone who can not only make you happy and laugh, but who can cook for you. Mm. That predatory growl. I wish you can smell this. <laughs> My gosh, mom is hungry. Total, this is two layers of nachos, and for the finale, Eddie's going to be adding some sour cream, more well, some chives oh no, not chives, coriander, and a little bit of more grated cheese. Yeah, so it's really, really looking delicious. Okay. I'm sure a lot of people can relate, it's very hard to eat outside or eat in other restaurants because uh, when you're able to cook something very delicious at home yeah you just it's hard to justify the cost of eating out but i'm very very lucky again to have such delicious food here not just in the philippines but when we're here in the uk eddie really knows his stuff in the kitchen what wine did you prepare for us um, rioca a rioca so, yes. ah yeah and then last night we actually had this which is my favorite malbec I know you might be wondering why are we drinking off a box. Believe it or not, I actually do like the flavor. It's not so, it's not so bad as you think. Cause if you love wine, you probably think it should be coming from a bottle. But here, I'm I'm actually pretty okay with uh, wine that comes from a box. If 
you've seen my other videos, I was doing the grocery in the Philippines. Uh, one of my must-buys if you're in SNR in Manila is to get this squeezed calamansi juice. I'm not endorsing, but I really think this is so awesome. Our Philippine lemons are like this tiny, so it's impossible to squeeze a whole bunch. So luckily, they came up with this product and there's no other ingredient but calamansi, which is kind of cool. Like it's so it's healthy, I suppose. Um, now you're gonna find out our secret little ingredient which is this we're just gonna sprinkle it over i suppose you do that anyway with nachos you put lemon on top yeah, it's lime, yeah. or lime yeah with mexican food but here we're going to use philippine lemon and dinner is served let's eat everyone lahat. <laughs> Hey Siri, what temperature is it today? The high temperature today will be 22 degrees Celsius and the low will be 7 degrees Celsius. 2 degrees Celsius and the low will be 7 degrees Celsius. It looks like I have powder in my face. Today is so sunny and pretty warm for a UK standard, I think. And I know that I'll be the only one hiding from the sun while everyone else will probably be enjoying and basking in the sun outside. So, Filipina versus Scottish. This is the warmest I've ever felt. The UK, it's 22 degrees. It's so sunny. I hate to compare, but to me, this feels like Napa Valley weather where you're having some wine by the vineyard enjoying the sun but cool breeze. Such a nice day out. Um, there's some rides behind me and I'm the only one wearing a hat and hiding from the sun. Everyone else here is enjoying the sun. We just got to the train station, but it's such a beautiful, clear day today that you can see Arthur's seat right behind me, which is Scotland's tour, one of Scotland's tourist destinations, which Eddie and I actually went to ages ago. Check it out. Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> 